Hello guys, welcome to another video from me, Michael at Starstreams, and today we're on Stranded Deep and we're looking at three designs for the very early raft. So I've knocked up these three designs, which I think are pretty decent, all three of them are, and we're going to compare them. We're just going to look at them and compare them, and we'll see which one's the best and which one's worth going with. Now I'm more of a hauler, so I build massive ships, but these are pretty decent. These are all pretty decent, and they all have their pros and cons. Um, so we'll start first off with the small one, this one over here. Starting off then with the one by one raft. It's the cheapest raft of the three. It's made of 23 wood sticks, which is the equivalent of 5.75 logs, seven lashing, 28 fiber leaves, six stone and two cloth. So the downside of this raft is that there's no storage. So if you're going to an island to loot, it's not going to be any good for you. The good news is, is while you're steering, you can access the sail, which is always pretty good. And as you can see, it's incredibly nimble, really, really quick. But as you'll see, as we enter the open water, kind of unstable. <laughs> a shark will knock you off of this. High winds and a storm will knock you off. But look at the turning. The turning's absolutely brilliant on this thing. And it is the cheapest build. And you can probably build it from the starter island, to be fair. It's, it's really cool. I, li I do like it, but I'm very nervous. Especially in open water. Okay, we'll just come through this. All in all, it's a decent raft. Oh, nearly. I, now, I wouldn't have been able to go through there with the other two. Yeah, all in all, it's a pretty decent raft. It's great for these sort of inner areas. Let me just leave it in the middle here. There we go. And down goes the raft. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. We'll come back to that one. Next up, we have the 3x1 raft. Slightly more expensive, this one. 61 wood sticks required. That's the equivalent of 15.25 logs. 9 lashing, that's 35 fibre leaves. 6 stone and 2 cloth. As you can see, it's a bit bigger. Okay, so, out we sail. The benefits of this raft is it is slightly bigger. It's more secure, more stable. We can still turn quite well in it. It is a lot more expensive. You probably need to leave your starter island to build this. But as you can see, you can already tell it's a lot more glidey in the move. We've still only got one sail. The beauty of this is that we can reach the anchor we're able to stop while steering. It's much more secure way of stopping a, a raft. And then obviously when we drop the sail, we're not prone to be thrown off because we can get onto the rudder first and then open the anchor up. So all in all, this is a much more secure, safe raft and you still maintain the quick speed and you still maintain the turning. A downside is there's no storage, but you can put later on to uh, maybe a cabinet here with some wood crates and you've got your storage you could put another one here and then this would make a really good dashing raft explorer feels good to drive it's pretty decent you're obviously not going to be as nimble going through these shallows but uh, that's fine there's no point in putting more, more than one sail on these things And there we are. Pretty decent. So we could drop the anchor while we steer, which is much better, much better design. And that's it. Finally, we got the 3x3 three three raft. Not so pretty to look at, but does have a couple of interesting features. It's 135 wood sticks, that's the equivalent of 33.75 logs to build. 15 lashing, that's 65 beliefs. 6 stone, 2 cloth. It's pretty expensive, you're probably going to have to do more than, more than two islands. Maybe two islands, possibly one more to build it. The special feature about this raft is that we've left 
one of the top levels off which means that you can squeeze wood containers in essentially you've got straight away some storage which is really really cool so you can probably fit up to four crates off the bat without creating any additional storage space again like the other one you can reach the anchor from the steering column which makes it a really good safe solid ship to use as an early game vehicle turning's decent feels a lot more smooth a bit slower sharks are not going to be able to knock you off this it's too big and you should be able to ride out storms There we go, we're still still a very nimble ship. You can put storage all along the sides here if you want to. There we go, and we'll just drop anchor. Nice and easy. The downside, there's one slight downside to this, is that occasionally you can get stuck inside this bit and you have to jump. And the risk is if you jump, you might actually jump off the raft. And in Stranded Deep, if your sail's down, it's game over. Three early game rafts, each with pros and cons. What do we think? So the first raft then, one by one, by far the cheapest raft, you can probably design it on the first island. It's quick, it's nimble, it's easy to operate, easy to build. Downside is, the sail maybe gets in the way a little bit when it's down. The anchor is at the front, which is always a bit risky. I wouldn't recommend using it in the open seas. If you get hit with a storm, you will be flipped over and sharks will definitely be able to flip you over as well. It's a bit of a speedy runner. Raft number two, three by one, better visibility. You can reach the anchor when you're steering, which is a huge benefit, much, much safer. It's less prone to shark attacks. In fact, I don't think a shark will be able to flip you. All in all, a decent raft. No storage again like the first one, but you can always add a couple of cabinets on the two wings, and that's gonna give you six storage for containers. Too expensive for the starter island, you'll have to visit another island to be able to build it. The 3x3 raft will see you through to the mid game and possibly even the end game. It's got an integrated storage to store up to four crates. It's solid, secure. You won't get knocked over by sharks, you won't get hit by storms to hard. The anchor is reachable from the rudder. It's an all round brilliant raft, but you will need to uh, visit two possibly three islands to build it the downsides of this raft is well i mean it's not as nimble as the other two all in all which of the rafts is the best certainly for the early 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 game has to be the one by one just to get you off the starter island and onto the second island it's quick it's nimble it's cheap don't go off into the open seas but it's enough to just get you around a couple of islands early doors and for that and in the fact that it's cheap, I'd say that's probably the best design for the very early start. Then I would choose the 3x3 as the bigger picture. Go to your second island, go to your third island using this one and look to build the 3x3. I think once you've got the 3x3, you're laughing, you don't really need to change your raft. You can probably upgrade it a little bit, but that should see you through for a considerable amount of time during the game. You can even put your little raft in the middle, maybe. And then finally, I'll be honest, I've seen this design around, I've used it a couple of times. It doesn't really appeal to me. The only benefits of this particular raft is that you can reach the, uh, you can reach the anchor from the steering column. For my recommendation then, go for the one by one, then move on to the three by three as soon as you can. And that's it. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope this video has been of use to you. If it has, definitely consider smacking that thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe for more quality Stranded Deep content. And I'll be back soon with more videos. Until then, bon voyage!